I'm sure a lot of you out there saw the title and thought, oh, there's Coney clickbaiting again. The title of this stream is that I'm addressing the controversy. No, I was serious. I have something very serious that I want to talk about. There's a controversy that you may not have even known existed. There's something that just dropped on the internet that I think a lot of you may have missed, but I'm here to inform you and alarm all of you as to the latest news. Watch Mojo's just dropped the top 20 greatest Nintendo characters of all time, and nobody watched it! Now, I've heard a lot of people in the Smash community have been talking about banning Steve, right? I feel like if Steve isn't on this list, he shouldn't be banned. If Steve isn't even in the top 20 best Nintendo characters, it's not even a discussion. So we're going to go ahead and watch this and see where Steve shows up, and then I'm going to make my decision. By the way, it's Watch Mojo Night, in case you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> Bro, Birdo's got to be on the list, right? I love Birdo. Wario. Wario at 18? Are you fucking kidding me? What are you talking about? Dude, Waluigi's going to be higher. I'm... He's gonna oh, Waluigi's gonna be honorable By mention. Far I'm positive. The greediest character in gaming, Wario would be This dude's funny as hell, his. dude. First appearing in the Game Boy Super Mario Land 2, Wario became <laughs> Click off with the vid died 10 out of 10 at 50k. Opposite of Nintendo's I'm just this one, bro. A caricature of a villain who's only out to benefit himself. I forgot this game was like over the top detailed. This game is insane. I forgot about that. Yeah, they went like the so hard on franchises. the sprite work. The platforming Wario Land and the micro game centric WarioWare, which is the dude impressive. reinvented he himself. He came up with a whole new genre, wrong way, which we deserves way more respect. They put that shit on Wario because they knew it would sell. That's crazy. Number seventeen, Pit. Are you fucking kidding me? This dude over Wario. That's unbelievable. Look at he him. He starred in less games than many other Nintendo characters. Yet Pit has managed to become beloved all the same. To who? He'd only appear in a Game Boy entry before going quiet for years. But like many others, he was revitalized and discovered by more players through Super Smash Bros. D he was discovered, but it's not like anybody played those games except the Buzz. Did you guys know DeBuzz was like the best player of the 3DS game? game? He won like tournaments and shit. Uprising on the 3DS gave him a boost in personality as the peppy, joke-cracking no. servant to the goddess of light, Palatina. Literally just a shonen character. I don't know why we're acting like this is a... He's peppy and joke-cracking. Wow, how silly. He's just a fucking shonen teenager. It's so stupid. Number 13. Let's go! <laughs> there Let's go! Wait, why is he above Wario? This feels strange. You know what's so funny to me? I don't know if this is true, but I think I read it somewhere. So Wario was already in, you know, the, the, the Mario canon, right? He's in the lore. And they needed a tennis partner for Wario. And they're like, okay, we need somebody for Wario to team with. Uh, fuck it, make Waluigi. And they were like, okay, does Waluigi know Wario? What's good? And they're like, no, he just showed up one day. Waluigi just actually just signed up for a tennis tournament and started playing. Which j blows my mind. He's just a stranger. And it also implies that he never know he didn't know who Luigi was. He was going through his whole life like this. Could you imagine your name is is Dylan and you go throughout your whole life and then you meet somebody wearing the exact same clothes as you but in reverse and his name is Wa Dylan. And he shows up at your place of work and tries to get you fired and take your job. Terrifying. It feels so personal. That's some Twilight Zone shit. That sounds like a great Black Mirror episode, actually. <laughs> Only being created so Wario could have a teammate, while Luigi has managed to surpass his evil pal through an intensely passionate fan following. But uh, it's easy to see I don't why. Know. Meme lords make it kind of oblivion. annoying. As a, as a big fan of Waluigi, uh, Waluigi fans possible. are insufferable. There is so much to appreciate about him, but I'm too cool for that. Number nine. Bowser. Nine? Super Mario series. I feel like if you're gonna hold on to him, you gotta put him higher, right? You'd be hard pressed to find a video game villain more well known than the fire breathing turtle monster that is Bowser. Do you think that's true? If you go to Times Square and you show people a picture of Bowser, do you think it, people would know him more than any other bad guy in video games? I actually don't think so. If okay, you show somebody a picture of Bowser and Wario, which one do you think people would know more? What about DK? Yeah, Bowser and DK. DK wins. DK clears easy. I feel like Bowser isn't... Like, he's he's mainstream, but I don't think he's that big, right? DK isn't a villain. He used to be, smartass. 
Pac-Man Pac -Man ghosts? Princess Peach and unleashing all I, they would just say it's Pac-Man. The <laughs> they wouldn't know, like, they're ghosts, friendly, right? Bowser's I think if I go to Times Square despicable. and I show people pictures of Bowser and other bad guys from video games, he's constantly I feel like he's not number one. I don't know why. Son, I just don't Peach think so. I beat that whole seven. game. It was pretty Donkey fun. Kong. Seven! Donkey Kong series. It's TK Bros is over. That's unbelievable, dude. Games would be like without the arcade game DK rules. I love DK, dude. Since the Apes debut and several I feel like DK is like a dad the Donkey character, Kong though, right? Like, evolved to become a platform I feel like a lot of dads pick DK. Nintendo's Second Donkey most Kong famous gorilla behind, behind Harambe. Who do you think the most famous gorilla is? It's King Kong. It has to be King Kong. King Kong, then Donkey Kong. And then Coco? Coco's been dead for years, bro. She's irrelevant. Harambe? That that's a meme. That's a meme. Come on. Mario's, although he's one of Nintendo's Gorilla Grodd? I didn't know that was a character until Injustice. I couldn't believe DC. Bro, DC was off the goo. DC had had all kinds of crazy shit, bro. They just they just come up with it was un it was unreal. Number six. Sixth place, Luigi. not even top five. I Even hate his goofy he joins ass. Mario across Stupid countless ass adventures. Run. Luigi rarely gets the same amount of praise, and we think that's pretty unfair. He Luckily, had a year Luigi has worst financial performance in Nintendo history. I want you to know, the year of Luigi was Iwata's greatest shame. He died in in a great deal of shame because of Luigi. Damn you, Luigi. Year, Luigi never it should have been the year of Toad. 50 Toad games. Remains fearful. Please. Not only does it make us laugh, but it makes his heroism and reliability. Oh, yeah, the... I forgot. You kill a baby in this game. This was weird to me. Even back then. I'm like, that's a baby ghost. This is kind of fucked up. Number five, Kirby. I love Kirby, bro. The older I get, the more I appreciate Kirby. I don't know why. Nintendo has I a Kirby design is like fucking peak. But few can top the pleasant Character design, music, it's just Topstar. like the polish. Beginning the game Kirby's sucked. Dreamland except game for the new Boy, one, which was okay. It's pretty good. But with Kirby's the design is excellent. Number four, Pikachu Pokemon series. Cute. Juliet loves Pikachu now. She's in her Pikachu phase. Bro, Fat Pikachu is so cute. I love Fat Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu is by far the most recognizable creature from the series due to its cute and cuddly design. Is, and is its Jigglypuff still popular? A hefty wallet. Apparently Greninja is like the most popular Pokemon, which is absurd to me. Yellow oh, Jigglypuff's not popular anymore? Game. That's sad. I love Jigglypuff. Bro, he's Great. ugly. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. He's a rat? Yeah, but he's bipedal. He's a giant be what's a, what's the closest thing to a bipedal rat? There has to be an animal I can't think I'm not thinking of. A kangaroo, right? A wombat? Rats can stand. Yeah, but they don't walk around. They don't do this. I know they can stand up. Your cat can stand up. It doesn't do it all the time. Number three, Samus Aran. Look up gerbils, they're really cute. Ger gerboas? Oh my god, that's gross. Ew! Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't like that. I don't like that. Ew. I don't like they have flamingo legs. What happened? This is a sin to exist. God when he created the Australia DLC, he just went off. God was like, uh, what's going down there? Pfft, I don't know. That continent is never going to interact with anyone else on the planet, so I'm going to put my most fucked up creations there. They're Australian, right? I just know they're Australian. North Africa and Asia? Okay, they were definitely from Australia, and they found a way over. <laughs> they, they, they jumped. They jumped from Australia. That's what this is. Does Samus really have a personality? If most other games or is her personality have not Samus having does, a personality, which is actually kind of a cool personality? But it's also kind of a cop-out, because number two and number one on this list, Mario and Link, also don't have personality. Well, other M tried, the well, they went the other way. <laughs> oh, so Alpharad and I were talking about this game on the podcast. I did not know this. The faster you beat the game, the more naked she gets at the end. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I thought you always got the swimsuit, but no. She gets more naked the faster you beat it. The birth of speed running. So, like, you find out she's a girl if you beat at a certain speed, but, like, maybe not really. It's just a haircut. Maybe she's carrot top, and then she's in a, she's in a one piece, and then she's in a bikini. I didn't know that. Link. 
the Legend of Zelda this series. Motherfucker doesn't talk. The series may be. Bro, wait a minute. Olimar isn't uh, uh, named after the princess, uh, but it's Link who does all the hard work. Where's Olimar? The born hero is always fated to be the one who stops evil, which sounds like a miserable existence. <laughs> why is he smiling? <laughs> I don't know why I never, I never noticed this. He's actually okay champing. I think the idea of Link is cool, which is like the same character but told through like a bunch of different time periods and legends. That's kind of neat, I guess. One, the me. Let's go! Hilarious. It could be anybody! It could be anybody at all! The Mies win! Which means Olimar wins! And Bruno wins! And Toad wins! You want them to be. So how could the Mies not That's claim true. The Good point. Good. Yeah, they're spitting. No. As much they're as spitting. we like the Mies, there could really only be one choice for number one. So cringe. From Donkey Kong to Odyssey and beyond, Mario is the gaming icon. Not just for Nintendo, but, it could have been but anybody, for the entire bro. art like... form. He saved the home video game market from the brink of death with the NES, and has since appeared in an innumerable amount of games. Yeah, but he didn't Always do brave that. and never Kind of a cringe list. No Birdo, no Toad, no Olimar. What are you going to recommend to me? For more... Top 10 weirdest unlockable. Top 10 video. Oh, what? What game is that? Is that Wolfenstein? All right, we had two video game lists for you. This one is for me. I have to know this one. These are the top 10 creepiest things that have been found on Google Earth. You have to imagine, Google is watching us at all times from a satellite in the sky. They've seen some wacky shit, and I must know. I bet this video boring as hell. Uh, what's going on there? What? Dude, if somebody has a monster or something, like if there is an alien, Google Earth would have found it. Number Absolutely. 10, the ghost girl. Oh my the god! Of ghosts will probably be debated <laughs> for the rest of human history. Those Holy shit! Spooky. That one took me a second. Ghost Dude, in a cemetery? Texas's Martha Chapel Cemetery. A street view photo shows what looks like a pale ghost girl peeking out from oh behind a tree. Oh my god! Skeptics thought it was nothing but a knot in the tree, or even a real girl being playful with the camera. This was seemingly confirmed by YouTuber. Okay, that's John clearly Wells like a joke, but Jesus Christ, dude. Detailing. How did people think that a go that was a ghost? I think there's a little bit of like suspension of disbelief. But regardless, if you stumbled upon that on your own, are you telling me you would not shit your pants? Because I would. Number eight, Hell on Earth. Small town of roughly 3,000, about two hours north of Manhattan, New Baltimore was once completely ruined on Google Earth. A creepy glitch <laughs> occurred whenever users would enter the town. Oh my everything god! everything look off-colored and droopy. Great Holy shit, it dude! It like a cross between a nightmare and a bizarre piece of art. And it only happened within the boundaries of New Baltimore. Once the user left the town via the main road, everything would revert back to normal. That's fucking insane. Silent Hill, it was nothing but an unfortunate technical glitch. Yeah, right. I would move. That town is about to sink into the fucking earth. Number five. Desert glyphs. That shit okay. look like okay. a brain. Some are circles with spokes radiating out from the center, while others are more triangular or rectangular in shape. The exact purpose of these shapes are unknown. What we do know is that they are over 8,000 years old and that they allow oh the sunrise on the winter solstice. It's amazing to think that our distant ancestors made these glyphs, let alone that they would be seen from a fancy camera in space near... Bro, what if the Earth cracked open tomorrow? And it turns out Earth has been pregnant with an alien baby for thousands of years. Earth is an egg with an alien baby inside of it. And all of these markings are just are part of the birthing process. Like the like the, the, the getting in. You know what I'm saying? Chrono Trigger? Oh, is that Chrono Trigger? <laughs> is that actually Chrono Trigger? <laughs> I played that game. I don't remember it. Literally the plot of World of Warcraft. Well, what the fuck? If it's five different games, then it's original. I came up with it too. This is the plot of Eternals from Marvel. <laughs> okay, but mine's ah, different. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is literally the plot to the Eternals. What the fuck ever? What if that happened? Wouldn't that be cool? Not for not for us, because we'd be dead. But like for other planets that heard about it, they'd be like, yo, man, you hear what happened to Earth? Number four, the Nancy figure. One oh of my the most God. famous images on the fuck is Earth that? can be found in the French city of Nancy. Nestled oh, that's just a French guy. Apartment complex is what can only be described as the creepiest statue <laughs> in the world. <laughs> this French fellow had too much wine. <laughs> he just woke up from his wine nap. <laughs> Black in color and has long, stringy hair and butt. It all proved a little too much for Google. For reasons unknown, the general area of the apartment complex is now completely blurred out. 
What? Why? Check on Google Maps? Where would I even look? <laughs> I got you you want me to look through all of France to find that person? No. Nancy got even worse. Hold, uh, Will, what is this link? What is this? Oh, you can't see the whole You can't see the whole house? Is this the house where he was? The whole house is blurred. Let me in. How do I unlock this? Paid DLC? Yeah, I guess they're like that's an area I'll be able to access later. That's what it is. Dude, this is insane. It's actually fully blurred on all sides. That's insane. Dude, yeah, what if that's how the house just looks now, like in real life? What would you do if you were if you saw that house, right? If you're walking down the road and there's just a blurry area. You can just ask Google to blur your house, which some people do, but once you do, you cannot have it unblurred. Really? Interesting. That's cool. How do you even talk to Google? How do you even do that? Number three, sidewalk baby. <laughs> this entry is Bro, at Gucci, this baby fancy as hell. That looks like a new fit too. This is going to be a really sad story and I'm going to be really upset after this. The baby crawled out of a Gucci store and into the road. Insert a clip of like, I don't know, Caillou being taught to hold hands with his dad to cross the road. <laughs> you, you fucking watch Mojo. I, I don't know what to expect. In combination of sand Brian getting hit by the <laughs> Brian Griffin. No one is around, and the baby is situated right next to a darkened Gucci store. The <laughs> fact that the store is dark and that there's no one else on the sidewalk seems to suggest that the photo was taken in the early hours of the morning. So why is this poor baby alone? Worst of all, did the baby somehow escape from its home? I'm taking a stroll. He's taking a stroll. Who said that Brian Griffin clip? You were close. We don't know the answer. Pretty good, actually. Photo. Close enough. Yeah, not bad. Wait, we never got an answer to the baby clip? I guess I guess you would never, but why is there why is there a baby here? I, are the parents back here, I guess? I don't know. I'm actually really curious now. Number two, Kazakhstan pentagram. And because we rejected God, tacitly what? accepting Satan. Anytime a pentagram can be seen from space, you know it's going to garner attention. What the fuck? That's real? Oh my the God. The is in the middle of nowhere, and it looks like some serious effort went into carving the symbol. That would take a long ass time. Look at how big that tree is, dude. This is like half a mile. 1,000 feet in diameter. 1,000 feet. Okay, well, that doesn't seem that big, I guess. Creepy though as it is, the pentagram may not have an unsettling origin. An archaeologist named Emma well, Uzmanova believes that it's nothing but a park or a campground that was made in the shape of a star. Right. That's because Kazakhstan once belonged to the Soviet Union, and the USSR was quite fond of using stars in its design. That's a different... That's not the same star. <laughs> that's not the same star at all. This is copium. Can... Although, I will point out, the only reason this is a pentagram is because Google looked at it upside down. Like, if Google's satellite just looked at it the other way, it would have been a nice star. Or even, like, tilted a little bit 45 degrees. This is a Google issue. Top 10 broken anime abilities with insane power. Why did you feed this to me? What made you think? Don't pog for that. Pog okay, chat is actually ooing at the broken anime abilities with insane power. We're not going to watch that. Now, I said this one was for me. And it was. But since I'm the streamer, I get two. These are the top 10 haunted amusement parks. <laughs> I had to know. Dude, the thumbnail. The thumbnail is what got me. Look at this fucking thumbnail. Look at that. Look at that fucking thumbnail. How am I not going to click on that? Terrifying. Number nine. Six Flags over they would Texas. Show me. Arlington, Texas. Bro, have I told you guys about Six Flags? Oh my god, I hate Six Flags. Six Flags has to be the home of the worst parks in the country. Six Flags America, which is the park near me ungodly it's just so poorly kept so god awful and they expect 50 bucks for a day pass parking is 30 dollars to park your car absurd it's said that the ghost of a little girl Fuck six haunts flags, the dude. yellow house located near the entrance however did you know that six flags great adventure that's the jersey one is the second biggest theme park in the world i learned that the other day i don't know if that's still true but i i, I apparently it is her name is Annie, and if you're an Arlington local or a paranormal enthusiast, then you're probably aware of her legend. I'm Customers not. Customers and employees have reported sightings of Annie in and around the area, roaming about Six Flags over Texas. Seriously, there's ghosts in here? <laughs> Imagine being a ghost and you have to haunt a Six Flags. That fucking sucks. You are doomed to walk the earth 
in limbo at a fucking Six Flags. You can't even get to like a Cedar Fair Park or something. Cedar Point. Jesus Christ. Cedar Ohio. Point is haunted? Staying in Ohio for the moment and narrowing What's going on in Ohio? Upon one specific ride over at Cedar Point Amusement Park. Don't scare me with a carousel. <laughs> An empty carousel the shot. Park's famous carousel. Tales have been told for years about a ghostly woman that could reportedly be seen riding one specific horse at night. It was even Which said horse? that the ride would operate on its own at night during one of her hauntings. Which horse? The woman Dude, carousel, my, my daughter loves carousels, and we might go to this park at some point. I need to know which horse not to ride. My daughter's two and a half. Today, Save her! The original horse is no longer on the carousel, but is on display oh, in a God. museum in the park. They moved the horse. Lake Shawnee Amusement Park, Princeton, West Virginia. Although Lake Shawnee Amusement Park has been out of uh, operation for decades, there are a number of reasons uh, why the area is said to have been haunted. One of them is allegedly due to the fact that the land that oh houses my the God. park is an ancient Native American burial ground. If that sounds like a cliche plot of a horror, that's because it is. But Lake Shawnee was also <laughs> okay. the site of a... Dude, this is terrifying. The fact that, like, trees will climb up... The Ferris wheel? Oh my God! A of the vines? On... I had a friend who worked at Cedar Point for the summer. Mm -hmm. He worked the carousel for the day, and at the end of his shift, where everyone was leaving the park, he claimed one of the horses moved up and down by itself. It only moves unless the ride moves. Are you serious? Holy shit! Isn't the horse attached to? I'm pretty sure the horse is like on a carousel. They're all attached to the top part, right? Because it goes up like that. That horse was just like WD-40 up. That's all. It was just oil. Wow, it must be true then. Hey, it, it must be true. Somebody gave me $5 to say that. Number one is Disney World. It's George. Channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest Lock videos. it in, bro. You Number one, Six Flags Great Adventure. What? This is the one that we said was the good one. Six Flags wins again. <laughs> great Adventure to hell. Oh my God, dude. This is the good one! This is the best Six Flags in the country! What happened? A fire raged through the popular haunted castle attraction featured within Six Flags Great Adventure. Oh, God! In Township, New Jersey. The incident took place on May 11th, 1984, spreading quickly due Dude, to that's the highly combustible up. materials that made up the castle's construction. My aunt worked at Great Adventure when this happened. Oh, my God, dude! From Within 20 minutes, the building looked burned down. Dude, that's One awful! Visitor told reporters. Eight victims died after being trapped within the ride, and spirits of young people wearing clothes indicative of that era are said to have been seen by both guests and park employees alike. There oh, were around dude. 30 guests. We that's hope fucked that their spirits, up. If indeed present at Six Flags, somehow find rest. I hate the Watch Mojo narrator for saying it like that. I, why did he say it with that much gravity? Seen by, we hope that their spirits, if indeed present at Six Flags, somehow find rest. <laughs> Imagine you get paid $40 to read a Watch Mojo video, and you have to say that at the end of one of them about eight people dying in a park. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot about um, Nintendo and theme parks. And dude, we've been watching Watch Mojo all night. I didn't realize how late it went. Hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, then you make a better one. I don't care. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. We're done with Watch Mojo, but I got a, I got a bunch of other videos. Hold on.